After leaving the beautiful country of Palau, I had a 24 hour layover in Guam. Have you ever heard of Guam before? It's a small island that I've always wanted to visit because it's an overseas US territory. But I always wondered, how similar is it to America? I went there to find out, and along the way, I filmed this budget travel video. Here is what $10 can get you in Guam. Welcome to Guam! What does Guam mean to you? Guam is basically home, and you know, it's uh, all about just family. Some people don't really care for this slow pace, but I personally love it. The people here are very nice, very kind, like good-hearted people. <laughs> when you come to Guam, you're well taken care of. If you want to go to the beach, the water is so clean. With a population of 170,000, Guam is the largest island in all of Micronesia and it has a very interesting culture and history. It was a Spanish colony for over 300 years, then captured by the Japanese after Pearl Harbor, and after the war, it became an overseas U.S. territory until today. That means they speak English, use U.S. dollars, and they get U.S. citizenship by birth, but cannot vote for president. The people living in Guam are a giant mix of indigenous, or Chamorro, Filipino, white, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and a huge mix of other Pacific Islanders. Basically, what that tells me is that you can find excellent food on the island, which is my mission in this video. Unfortunately, today is Sunday, which means that most things are closed and it's pouring rain outside, but I was still eager to explore. In typical fashion, I got in touch with a local friend through Instagram named Genevieve, and we are off to see the island. What's going on? I'm pretty good. I'm How Nice to Drew meet you. Genevieve. Nice to meet you. Do you drink coffee? Yeah. Yeah, we're probably gonna uh, stop by a coffee place. It's called Coffee Slut. Yeah, Coffee Slut? <laughs> coffee Slut. Wonderful. Yeah. And excuse the profanity, you know, if there's little kids watching this, I'm sorry. You know, that's just the name <laughs> of the restaurant and apparently yeah. it's really good. Is everything on the beach in Guam? I like to say so. <laughs> Pretty much. Cool, let's get some coffee. Hello. How are you? What do you want to get? Just a nitro coffee. So we do friendly, flirty, slutty for sizes. Okay, I'll have a friendly cold brew. This is my very first day in Guam right now. Well, the coffee's gonna get you going. Hopefully. Thank you so much. I love that. Did I order two? No, this is just I wanted you guys to try it. Oh, you gave us a free one. Thank you. Yeah. That's our kalu. This is nitro. You can see the difference. You can see the fall. Amazing. Okay, let's take it on the table outside. Cheers. Cheers. This looks awesome. Happy Sunday. Oh man, that's delicious. It's gonna wake us up. For oh yeah, sure. it's, definitely, it's definitely gonna yeah. wake us up. It's about as good as coffee can get. Yep. That coffee hit the spot, and we're gonna head down the island to see all the beautiful wonders and sights of Guam. As we roamed around the island, I couldn't help but wonder, who are the people of Guam? What do you call people here? So, if you are indigenous to the island, uh, you have native blood in you, you would be called Chamorro. So are you Chamorro? I'm personally not Chamorro. Uh, I've been living in Guam many years. I was actually born here, but I am half Palauan, half mm -hmm. Japanese. But if you are a resident of Guam or you've been born here, um, you would be considered Guamanian. When you introduce yourself, you would say I'm Guamanian? Yeah, I would say I'm Guamanian or I just say I'm from Guam. We drove up to see a beautiful viewpoint and I was approached by an adorable girl selling a local specialty. I couldn't say no. What do you have? Coconut candy. Coconut candy. That sounds delicious. I'll have one. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you make this? Yeah. So what is this? It's coconut candy. Uh -huh. um, I believe I'm not mistaken, uh, the way they process it, all the, the meat inside, they take it out and then I believe they boil it with uh, sugar. So it takes a long time to make that? Yeah, it's a lengthy process. Cool. Have Wanna a little bit. Some? It should be sweet. And you have the texture of the coconut Whoa. as well. It almost is like you open a coconut and you pour some sugar on it yeah, and you eat it. Basically, that's what it is. That's really tasty. And Island food. with a view. Okay. Let's go check out those cannons. Some Spanish relics. This looks extremely old. So the Spanish built four fortifications to protect from pirates, 16th century. Yeah. Wow, let's go check them out. When you think about like how long it's been. I know, isn't it scary when you like put your head in front of a cannon? Now there's a bunch of trash inside, sadly, yeah. but. I know, but it's still standing after all still these Still standing. Wow, now it all makes sense. This is just an unbelievable view. And the rain stopped. Yes. So the layover was absolutely worth it. You're making the most of it? Yep. Visiting the island this and- is super beautiful. And these green hills are just perfect. Yeah, very picturesque. Picturesque. It just surrounds us right now. So right now, Genevieve and I are inside of this like old Spanish fortress. Very old, like hundreds and hundreds of years old. And it's so cool you get this like little window. Pretty cool. 
This guy in front of us is setting up something. You have coconut or mango? Yeah, mangoes, coconut, peppers, and pickled papaya. You have everything. I'm in Guam only for one day. I want to try the best of what you have. King coconut, sir. The sweetest coconut on the planet. This one. Oh, that's a bold statement. Yeah. Come and try some of this, man. Is this the secret stuff? Yes, man, magic. It's uh, coconut fresh with wasabi and soy sauce. Let's get a little kick, you know? Bro, that is the unique stuff right there. And it's very healthy, man. Have you tried that before? How is it? Like sashimi. <laughs> like sashimi. Sure. Thank you. You can try a good coconut all over the world, but you can't try coconut sashimi. Only on Guam. Bro. Only on Guam, bro. Exactly. What do you want to say about Guam to people that don't know what's happening here? We need to have our own rights, man. We need to have our own uh, indigenous rights. Right. right. Not left hand, but right hand. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Can you teach me some Chimoto? Uguay to hell. Uguay to hell. I love you. Oh, thank you. That guy was so full of life and so cool. And he was the kind of local that I was hoping yes, to meet. He's exactly, a, it's a great representation of just a Chamorro man. Right. And he had really good coconuts and coconut sashimi. So that was like a 10 out of 10 stop right there. The coconut sashimi just got my appetite started. Now I'm pretty hungry, but unfortunately, all the street vendors are closed due to the pandemic. We searched and searched and found only one place open that serves a local fusion. It's called the Jamaican Grill. Genevieve called her friend Hayato to meet us there. It's so ironic that we're going to a place called Jamaican Grill because Jamaica is one of my final two countries and I was actually supposed to be there right now, like this exact day. So the fact that we're finding a Jamaican grill on the other side of the world is ironic and awesome at the same time. So let's do it, guys. I think we'll probably just do the chicken calaguin. That's fantastic. And so it's like Jamaican inspired, but it's obviously local chicken. Yeah, it's and... a very fusion. Yeah, yeah. fusion. <laughs> During the pandemic, this is one of the few places that was still open. And my God, the line, the, the orders was insane. There it is. Mm. Thank you, sir. That looks just like the picture. So what are we looking at right now? So this is a chicken calaguan. It's a deep fried tortilla. or what we call teasers on Guam. We'll squeeze some of that lemon. You can either dip the tortilla inside the uh, with the chicken or you can eat it separate. You're going to love this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good? Mm. The face says it all, man. Incredibly delicious. These deep fried tortillas, mmm. Food was delicious, now we're moving onwards to explore the southern part of Guam. We are right now at the Emerald Valley. It's a great place to stop by uh, on the way over the southern loop. A lot of Instagrammers love to come here and take their pictures on a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Careful we don't fall in. So people do swim in here. I, I personally don't, don't recommend it. That's perfectly see-through. You can see all the way down to the bottom. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely got my Instagram pic here and it was a nice break to take in the beauty of Guam. Truth be told, anywhere you go in the Pacific, you can find the most incredible nature and it's just a pleasure to be here. As we headed back to our hotel, there was one more roadside snack that Genevieve wanted me to try. It's as local as it gets. We just parked to try another local delicacy here. There's a beautiful fruit stand in front of us. So I want to make him try some pickled papaya, which I believe is soaked in vinegar. And sometimes they put um, hot pepper, like those little chili peppers. Yeah, um, everything's so spicy nice. here. How much is this? One dollar. One dollar? Great. Thank you. All right, so we're going to try this pickled papaya that we just got on the side of the road. Here you go. Okay. Mm, it's like sour and spicy. Nice good kick to it. Really spicy. Is everything here spicy? Yeah, we love spicy food. To me, this is just a kick. Oh, this is really spicy. <laughs> the spice completely overwhelms the papaya. I don't even taste papaya, I just taste spice, but it's really good and definitely unique to Guam. And only a dollar. Even though it was a short visit, I really enjoyed my time here in Guam. It's a place that most people have heard of but don't know much about. So I hope that through this video, you were able to get a glimpse of life on the island. To wrap up this $10 video, I was able to purchase an iced coffee, a coconut candy, a coconut sashimi, chicken calaguin, and pickled papaya for exactly $10. And that's what $10 can get you in Guam. Thank you guys for watching this video. I always appreciate it. Truth be told, today was Sunday, so everything was kind of dead on the island and it was a little bit tough to go around and make it exciting because things are closed. But I tried my best to show you what Guam is like as a tourist, how the locals are living, what we can eat here, and it's a place that I definitely want to come back. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Peace.
I'm Drew Binsky and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more adventures from every country and I also have a second channel where I share the most inspiring people stories around the world. Also, if you want to become a better traveler and save money, I'm offering the first chapter of my travel hacking course for free. Just click that link in the middle down below. Until next time guys, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.